Oh, there we go. I wanted to go up here and drop kill. All right. So, are there any beds next to this area? Not really. I mean, there is the tower, but I don't want to go all the way up there. All right. Then we're just going to head into the outbreak area or the quarantine zone and see what we got going on. So, what is this one, anyways? Is this the Three Moons apartment or restaurant? It is. This is, this is a DLC one. Huh. <laughs> right? Let's see. I like that it does, like, tell you. DLC. Okay. It used to be the most fine dining place in the whole city. The place for the whole family or for a classy evening diner by the... Diner. Dinner. Damn it, this whole thing again. Dinner by the candles and gentle piano tunes. But now a scene from THE hell. It was shut off by military when infection began. People suck inside, face terror and insanity no one should go through. What if there's someone alive in here? Retrieve all disaster relief factors. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's fine as well. Let's examine this place as it is. It's a restaurant. So we come in from the front. What are we greeted by? A uh, board up place. Okay, I guess we won't investigate it like a restaurant because it. <laughs> It has been given the, oh shit, people try to survive here treatment. Uh... Huh. I can't even open that door. Alright, we'll just go the long way around. Game. Game, are you trying to creep me out with the super scary restaurant because I murder hundreds of zombies oh so I can handle myself hey yeah oh, okay all right now you're just being incredibly goddamn rude Ooh, are you being spooked out jet player <laughs> gotcha didn't we <sighs> partially I suppose Hmm. Oh, oh. Oh, shit. Aha! Get drop kicked into the electricity water. I was gonna say, hey, there's no zombies in here. This is surprisingly tame. What the hell is charging that up anyways? Broken light bulbs? I can see that being a thing. Touch. <laughs> Sometimes you want to do incredibly risky things in your life. Especially if it's not actually going to get you killed. It's going to give you a light spark. Like, say, putting your tongue on a D battery. <laughs> and touching the two connectors and getting a little tongue zap. Oh, I've done that. A couple of times. Not anytime soon. But as a kid, for sure. There's a kid zombie in there. Not sure I appreciate kid zombies at this time. So I think I've camouflaged up a little bit. Hey, thank you. All right. You are exactly what I need. Come on. Is he in here? No. Okay, so I did actually go to the downstairs part. Come on, before my camouflage wears off. <laughs> Shut up, kid. <sighs> Aw. You know, you could form your own story here. The mother tried to hide underneath this elevator with her kid, but her kid was already infected, and so she died to her own kid's hands. And this teddy bear that we see everywhere used to be his friend. Ugh, God. 
Oh, hello. Nice of you to come on by. Sorry you had to see me kind of, you know. Messing around with a dead kid. But I had to investigate things. Because I never really had that close of a look to the kid zombies. With their messed up mouths. Ooh. And laughing and yet crying at the same time personalities. Although, sometimes I can sympathize with that, huh? Yeah! Okay. Trust no zombies on the ground! Alright, I just need two more goddamn drops. I do not like the appearance of this! Huh. Okay, I guess I don't want to open that one up. You're right. Ah! Yo! Bitch! I just got a stall exploded- I got a stall door exploded into me. That is something I never would have expected to ever happen in a video game. But it's happened! Zombie punching a door at me. Oh gosh, well at least there's only one drop left. Ugh. The zombies are actually trying to turn the doorknobs. That's the more scary part of all of this. Alright, let's see if I can open this pretty quick. There you go! Now we have zombies to kill. Oh, shit. Maybe lots of zombies to kill. I'm fully expecting that door to burst open once I get the drop in this room. Um, oh, okay, I can see where this is going. You guys are gonna try chasing me down and killing me now that I've actually opened up the room for myself, huh? That's fine, for I am a king! And a king will not bow down to a few zombies, nay. Okay, this place wasn't so bad. It had a few spook moments. Such as the haunted <laughs> restroom of doom. But I got my drops and I'm ready to get the fuck out of here. Oh. That's fucked up, man. All of this is fucked up. <laughs> they give you this DLC just to go, hey, hey. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, I did not mean to fall down here. I was just trying to see if that was a zombie. And I was gonna kick it, or like, knock it towards the water. Ah, but they spent the DLC just trying to scare me. We need to get out of here. Before more things just show up. <laughs> Every little corner is a twist. Oh, by the way, you thought there was no zombie here? We lied! I even do anything in that room? I want to throw something in there. Oh, that would have been funny if that worked. Like, they actually had legitimate zombies. With a legitimate AI. Nope, they're just gonna chill out and eat things. Well, it is a fine dining restaurant. Listen to that classy music. It's music. Just straight music. Let's get out of here. Oh, gosh. I definitely wouldn't want to be confined into a restaurant. <laughs> out of all the places, you just have, like, entire families worth of infected in there? No. That'd be bad. I mean, a hotel and a parking garage would be pretty bad as well, but... You know, a restaurant... You go there for a pleasant experience and you get nothing but hell. THE HELL! You know? 
<laughs> I like how he was giving the, the zombie example, like, ah! No. I also have, uh, those tons of zombies there behind me. I'm just gonna keep kicking you to, to, to the ground, friend. There we go. That works as well. Quick! I need your blood and guts all over me! Oh. That way I don't have to worry as I grab these drops. Alright, so there should only be one quarantine zone left in Old Town. And then like five quarantine zones left in the slums. Because remember, I'm pretty sure there's a deal. I think the DLC added a quarantine zone to both Old Town and slums. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it did. Uh, is Tobias ready to give me a weapon yet? Not really. Okay. So let's head over to the tower. Let's head over to the tower. We're going to the slums because the tower over here is just a lot closer to me. <laughs> than the new Antelia apartments. Need some new gear. Yeah, actually, you know what? That's not a bad point. I do need to sell you things. Okay. Oh, we never used the, the dad knife. It's not like I can sell it anyways. Uh, oh, we never checked out the military rifle. Ooh, all these things. Okay. So, where is this fast travel thing? Oh. Hold F to fast travel to the slums, Brecken's Tower. Urban renewal. Two multi-family residentials located in a new town. A new town. Okay. And so, assumedly, this will just bring me all the way back to the first area that we ever were in. We haven't been here in a while. I, although we did spend, I think, more time in the slums than we did in the old town. Okay, so where is this gonna put me in the tower? Is it gonna actually, like, bring me all the way to the top, or is it just gonna put me, like, at the bottom or something? Oh. Come here. I've got a special deal for you. Okay. Well, he has a premium bastard sword that has 1,045 damage. That's pretty solid. But not more so than the things I have as of this moment. Let me buy more med kits. We're kind of running out. We're getting so low on it, guys. Ugh. Actually, let me put away this rice gun. I don't need it. And I don't need the father's knife. Fuck the father's knife. Shield, we don't need multiple of those. Okay. By the way, do you want 80 coffee? <laughs> because goddamn, do I have them. Alright, so, what do we have going on in this district? Are there new missions? At all. Doesn't really look like it. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> it would be kind of annoying, I guess, if you actually, like, left and or you, you continued the game and you came back here and- Oh no, here's 20 side missions that are completely new and then you have to do over. Alright. With that said, there are quarantine zones left over in this area. Now, if I remember correctly, there are a couple of the floor, uh, the quarantine zones. I was gonna say fluorescent shrooms because I was doing that. There was a few quarantine zones up here, and we didn't have them shown, even though we passed by them a lot because we didn't get the quarantine zones for the first time until the very end of us checking out the slums. <laughs> Which I guess is just really unfortunate. Alright, so what kind of challenges do we have here anyways? We have the killing guy, dude. Alright, that's not so bad. We don't have to worry about, um... Hundreds of challenges being left over here. It's just like, one. Whatever happened to that psycho guy? The one who was like, cut off the arms of everybody! I figured that there would be a continuation of that. Either in Old Town, or over here, but it just didn't really happen. Okay. Okay! I need to repair my weapons! Oh, and did we ever grab the... Yeah, we never got the, the final stash from Osman. 
the one which was the first I ever found. And was like, why can't I go in there? It's got awesome items for me, I think. Okay. And mission complete. Right, uh oh. Ahem. Mission complete. I can't close the door though. <laughs> That's it, just it just casually doesn't have anything on there. Alright. We found the final Osmond stash. And oh shit, there's actually a couple of electronics here. That's nice. I think items respawn as well. Eventually. So like if I were to leave and come back, this probably wouldn't be such a bad place to go to grab items. Now the question is, do I want to lock back? Yeah, we might as well. Just for old time's sake. We came here so long ago and wanted to see what we could get. And even though we don't really usually get anything good now from lockpicking items, it's not a bad idea. Let's see what we got. Exceptional Egyptian Kopish. It does look nice. Ooh, and we got a duelist upgrade. Maybe I should lockpick things more. Maybe that's how come I'm running out of upgrades, right? I just don't lockpick things as much as I used to. Before everything was like, ah, hey, there's a van. That van, I must lockpick. Now it's like, eh. Eh, I mean, if I'm here, sure. Alright. What do we have in this blue thing that we don't even have to lockpick? Ooh, a gun. I wonder if I could have gotten that earlier. <laughs> the little camo police rifle. But I could use it, but I might as well grab it and sell it. All right, so that is Osman's stash, and we are going to continue upwards. I vaguely remember one of the quarantine zones. I believe it was a parking garage, and I looked at it, and I said to myself, "Wow, this place looks weird." <laughs> and I noted, I acknowledged all the quarantine stickers and everything on it, and then proceeded to not like put two and two together because we hadn't done it yet. So there's the supermarket. I'm just still playing music, so that's kind of cute. Uh oh. I'll save you, friends! There you go. Don't do it! It's not worth it! I didn't think we had a prayer until you turned up. You showed them. Take it as a token of gratitude. Thank you, survivor. Now go with your friend and die due to stupid decisions, honestly. Okay, so we're gonna operate under two assumptions. One, that there isn't a DLC quarantine zone for this place because it's not popping up on my challenge thing like the other one did. Oh wait, no, here we go. Holy Year Tunnel. There are loads of infected uh, infected in the old railroad facilities. In this band, real, 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 okay. Where the hell is that then? Okay. So, forget what I was going to say about us operating under the assumption that there isn't a quarantine DLC thing here. There is, for sure. So we're going to the second assumption, which basically says there's five quarantine zones left in this area. I'm actually glad that the first piece of DLC for this game came out in a reasonably timely manner. And it's quarantine zones, which are things that I haven't fully completed yet. I think it's a little too little too late for anyone who beat the game in like the first few days, but... Uh, I think if you do the entirety of this game, it's about 30 hours. Maybe 25 if you're really hardcore at, like, rushing through stuff. Maybe 20 if you skip cutscenes. I don't even know if you can skip cutscenes. I haven't tried, because obviously I, have, I haven't seen them. Alright, where... I have no idea where I'm going. At this point, I'm just, it's just kind of general exploration. And, like, a vague memory. I could, and probably should, bring up, like, a map thing. The only problem is the couple of times I've tried finding one for the quarantine zones, they've been really annoying. Like, most of them are just, like, videos. And they're like, oh, look at my video to find out where each one is. And I'm like, no, just open the map, do this, screenshot, 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 piece it together in Photoshop, and then point to all the various locations of where the quarantine zones are. You do not have to make me go through all of that. Although, let, 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 me, let me rephrase that. I don't mind video guides. Video guides are... Oh, Jesus. Incredibly useful. 
<laughs> it's just been annoying trying to find like just a straight up map. Because most things usually, like most most people, do make maps. Do that whole thing where they just take screenshots of this or something like this, stitch it together in Photoshop. Because that's a very simplistic thing to do. I could do something like that. But oh well. Okay, there's got to be. I know there has to be one somewhere up here. Because I was watching back one of the videos after I discovered quarantine zones, and I noticed that. I was like, holy shit, there's quarantine stickers all over that building. And then I looked it up, and I was like, okay, that one's called the underground parking zone. <sighs> Alright, so here, you know, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go find the quarantine zones, go watch some of those videos, <laughs> and then get them all marked on the map. Be right back. <laughs> 